Hi, I'm Ken Ham, President and CEO of Ansys and Genesis and the Creation Museum. Well, here I am in the Ark exhibit at the Creation Museum. You know, the cross is the greatest reminder to us of the most wonderful message of all, the message of salvation in Jesus Christ. Actually, the Creation Museum was built as a reminder, a reminder for people that God's Word is true, the history is true. That's why the message of the Gospel based in that history is true. And you know, the vision for the Creation Museum goes back over 30 years when I was a high school science teacher in the public schools in Australia. And I took my students to museums and zoos, but my heart ached when I saw that the signs they read, what they heard, was all from an evolutionary millions of years perspective. And the Lord really burdened me. I cried out to the Lord, why can't we build a creation? Museum, a place where they'll be taught the truth about God's Word and the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, at that time, I and one of our board members of the ministry we had in Australia knelt down on a piece of property and we prayed that the Lord would allow us to build a Creation Museum. Well, the Lord answered that prayer over 30 years later in America, in the greater Cincinnati area, when the Creation Museum was opened in 2007. But then I'm burdened again. What about the millions that haven't heard this message and need to hear this message? How do we reach millions more with the truth of God's Word and the Gospel of Jesus Christ? Well, you know, other than the cross, I believe the Ark of Noah is one of the greatest reminders we have of the message of salvation. You see, Noah and his family had to go through a doorway to be saved. Well, we need to go through a doorway to be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he'll be saved. Imagine. Imagine if we were to rebuild Noah's Ark, the size of the Ark, out of wood, to look like a real boat with three floors so people could walk through and see exhibits where questions would be answered, such as how did Noah fit the animals on the Ark and how do you feed them and get rid of waste products and so on, answer questions about the flood and fossils, but most of all to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ. What a reminder this would be. In fact, we call the project Ark Encounter because we want people to come and have an encounter with Noah's Ark, but at the same time to have an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. What a reminder for the world of the truth of God's Word and the truth of the Gospel. Now here's another exciting part of the project. Rebuilding Noah's Ark, that's only phase one. We have other phases planned as well. We've master planned an entire park to go with Noah's Ark. We have, for instance, a petting zoo, a stage for live animal programs, a children's area, a Tower of Babel with a 5D theatre, a ride through the plagues of Egypt, a first century village, drama theatres, a pre-flood village, amphitheatre, all to help people have an encounter with God's Word and so have an encounter with the message of salvation. Well, I do hope the vision of the Ark and the opportunity to share the truth of God's Word and the Gospel with millions across this nation and around the world has been an encouragement to you. And if you would like to help us rebuild Noah's Ark, then I urge you to go to arkencounter.com where you can learn more about how you can sponsor a peg or a plank or a beam in the Ark and also purchase a Charter Lifetime Boarding Pass that will give you and your family a lifetime admission to the Ark Encounter and also to the Creation Museum.